Hey, how you doing? Welcome to you, beauty -o. This is it. We are here with the first look at the first ever female Sabutio set. And I hear you going, stupid. it's not the first female set. We'll talk about that in a second. But this is the first commercially available Sabutio set with women players. It's a Lioness. It's officially licensed with the FA, so you get Lioness branding. But you might also be asking, Stu, where is it? I haven't actually got it yet. It's the 17th of April today. This set was meant to be released on the 9th of April. I put my pre-order in on Amazon ages ago. Got really excited last week thinking it was going to be delivered. Delivery date pending. Oh my God, it came, it went. And then all of a sudden, yesterday, I noticed that Amazon had taken the payment out of my bank. So I'm checking through Amazon, looking at me orders. It still says date pending. I wake up today, April 17th. It says it's being delivered today. By 10 p.m. today, I will have that. So I probably won't look like this. I'll probably have different clothes on, because I'll be honest, I'm just out of bed and I'm very, very excited. But I wanted to get set up and ready, so as soon as that set comes in, I can open it up in front of you, with you, get it out to you, so you guys can take a first look. I've seen a couple of pictures this morning of other people sending it on their websites, and I'll be honest, figures look all right. Figures look all right, you know. But while we're waiting, but while we're waiting for it to be living, waiting for Amazon to zing their way to us, earlier on I said it was the first female beauty of set. I know, it's not. There was a set release for the 2018 Women's FA Cup final between Arsenal and Chelsea, but it wasn't commercially released. The FA gave it away as part of giveaways and competitions at the game, and now when it sells, it goes for hundreds. Honestly, the sort of money you look at it selling is what you'd expect a really old retro set, an amazing addition to sell. This set, for a couple of years old, goes for like two, 300, 400 quid, but this set, is commercially available and I think it's absolutely puckered because women's football at the moment is absolutely huge lots of young girls getting into football they'll look at this and be like oh there's no there's no female dispute you know I want to play it but you know what they can now this is perfect for them this is a great way to grow the game oh I can't wait to get the set in oh, now I've got to get the set in I've got to sit around and wait all day in fact I'm not going to sit around and wait all day I'm going to sit until it's time to go out and get my hair cut because finally wow the hair's getting cut this afternoon we'll get that cut if it turns up while I'm out I'll take that box straight in you'll be the first to see it if it turns up later, I'll be sitting by the doorstep, waiting for it to come. In fact, you know what? The time for talking is over. Let's do some sort of transition. And the next time, I should be running in with the first ever commercially available female Sabutio set. One, two, three, go! All right, quick update on it. It's not here yet. But I've just checked the Amazon app. And it's going to be here after three, between sort of three and six time. It's half past one at the moment. So, you know what? Yeah. Let's stay out and play with the kids. I'm going to go down this side. Ready? Ta-da! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <Got you>. ah! <laughs> I'm home, it said half past three, and now it says half past four, two half six. The way goes on, but I've got my hair cut. Let's keep waiting. Yes, it's arrived. It's bedlam, but the set is here. The only other problem is though, food's arrived. I'm gonna have to leave it there waiting for me. Ah! All right, time for talking's over. Dinner's eaten, time has been taken to sit down. Let's get into this. This is probably the most boring bit, opening an Amazon box. You've all seen an Amazon box before. You know what they look like. But inside, let's see what the first ever commercially available Subutio female set looks like. I have the England set on hand as well, so we can compare it to this. And ready? Voila! It looks very similar on first hand to the England set. So there you go, we've got England women's team, the England Lionesses game. We've got a picture of players. There's the normal England set with the men and the ladies. With the men, with the ladies. So it's pretty much the same set. Pretty much the same set. Let's get it out. It's nicely shrunk wrapped and sealed. But it is the first ever set to have women on it. And it actually looks like they've got the kit right. Because one thing I noticed with the men's set is it was just a generic white top navy shorts. Whereas with this, you can see, you might be able to see my ring light there. They've actually got the trim on there. Got the trim on the players as well. On the back, very simple, but they've used the women's figures there. This is something that annoyed me. This is something that annoyed me. So when all the hype was going around on the Facebook groups, people were looking at a catalogue, and there was clearly a trade catalogue, right? Clearly a trade catalogue come out, and it said 10 players, or 10 units, or something similar to that. And everyone took it that this was going to only have 10 players in it, which meant it was five a side. As soon as I saw it, I thought, that's rubbish. I don't know where the rumour started, but there you go, everyone. There's your proof. 20 players, two goalkeepers, that's two games of 11 side, two goals, one ball, one pitch. I'm hoping the pitch is the new pitch. I'm hoping it's the new modern pitch, which was really, really cool and very much underrated. There's only one way to find out. What I'm really excited to look at is the women players and see how detailed they are. Because one thing with the new sets we've seen is the players haven't been great. They haven't been great. 
There we go. Nice. Nice box. Nice. Oh. Now, let's start with the negatives first. I know you should always start with the positives. But we'll start with the negatives. These goals are pants. Longshore, University Games, the people that are making some beauty on our days. Honestly, these goals are pants. I'm not even going to talk. You know what? I'm not even talking about them. I'm not even going to talk about the goals. Let's stay in there. We're on a downer to start with because the goals are rubbish. We're on a goal, we're on a downer to start with. Goals are rubbish. Simple as that. Putting it away. I'm joking. Of course I'm not putting it away. But what we will do is we will just ignore the goals because they are absolutely rubbish. We'll come to the players in a minute. Pitch nicely wrapped up. Too much wrapped up too. I've not seen yet. Any instructions? Oh, there they are. We'll come to the pitch in a second. We'll continue with the next negative. If this one comes out. Oh, keep moaning about this. Game rules. It's just a bit of paper. One thing I'll say is it's a little bit better. Generally, you get that bit of paper. That's all you get. At least they've made it look like a book with game rules. They've got something that looks like Sputio on it. This should have been women, though. This is the women's edition. This should have been women. Yeah, that's wrong. That is wrong. Let's put that in. Let's look at the pitch. Ah, Is the pitch the new quality pitch that I rave about? That no one else likes. Everyone goes, oh, the old pitch is a bail. Let's have a look. It is. Don't know how well you're going to be able to sit. I can't fold it. I'm never going to be able to fold it up either to get it back in there. Oh, that is a nice pitch. Colour of it's dark. I'll give it that. It's got a crease in it. Don't know how well you can see that. The lines are very raised, okay? So the lines on it are very raised. But that is a really nice bit of cloth. That's a lovely playing surface. So there you go, another modern Sabutio set with a decent pitch. That's a full-size pitch as well. I'm not going to get it all out because, well, it's massive. And I'm setting this up. So, let's get into this. The first commercially available women's football. You know what, I'm going to start on the keeper. I'm going to start on the keeper because I can see her hair from the side. Oh, I pulled her out of base. Not a problem. Heavyweight style. Look, she's got a long bar. She's got a bar. Heavyweight style. Pick her in. Let me show you. Get her in focus. That is actually a good looking figure. Look at the hair on the back in the bun. That's a good looking figure, you know. These are actually okay. That was the away goalkeeper. Here's the England keeper. She's got three lines on her shirt. Her face looks a bit yellow. Her face isn't yellow. That's just reflection. Her face is skin coloured, I promise you. Nice bit of detail on that badge. She's got a number one on. Oh, there's there as well. One thing I think let me could miss a trick on here is not doing the away kit as uh, England away. Let's have a look at a player. We'll pull one up. There's loads of different hairstyles in here as well. I'm so excited. Oh, you know what? These figures are wicked. They're a little stocky. The one thing I'll say about them is they're a little stocky. They still have that little cartoony element to them. I'm getting out of focus here. They still have that little cartoony element to them, but compared to the men's figures, they look... Oh, look at the detail on the hair. That's fantastic, that is. That's a... You know what? People are going to slate them. It's a great-looking figure. So we've got... Let's, let's, let's work these out. So we've got a ponytail on her. Ponytail on her. I want to see some different haircuts. Ponytail again. Ponytail... They've all got the same haircut. Oh, no, we've got a bun. This girl's got a bun on her. Oh, I like that. Nice, nice, nice. Well, is there any additional way out of her haircuts in here? Oh, dropping them. She's got a bun as well. She's got a bun. We've all got buns. Buns or ponytails. Oh, God, I pulled her out of base. Oh, no, yeah, here's a different one. You can't see. That's not doing this off camera. Look, she's got, just, I don't know, just a standard haircut, really. Nice to see, honestly, this has got a lot of effort in it, this set. It really has, there's the away, the away is obviously the same, and it's got the same sort of haircuts. Any other, diff any other differences? Bob again. What's that, she's got a ponytail, yeah. Trying to get out, number two, come on number two, out you come. Uh, I can't get her out. I'm going to have to break her out. Sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do, take a player off a base. She's got a bun as well, I'm telling you. 
these figures, yes, they look a bit stocky, they look a bit cartoony still, but I think they're all right. Looks a lot better than the men's set. And I'm going to show you over the pictures now with my, <laughs> I say this, with my flicking. We all know how bad that is. Look, and they play all right too. They're a standard base, standard Sabutio base. I know I'm not flicking over long distances here because I've not got it all laid out. That was awful, wasn't it? You know what? They're all right. Do you know what, right? I'm really impressed with this set. Really, really impressed with it. We'll ignore the goals. We'll ignore the manual. But we've got a great pitch. And we've got some great looking figures, I must say. £40? Mm, that's how much it cost me on Amazon. £40. Although the England one... The England men's set, that's just gone down to £20 now on Amazon. So this might happen soon. Bear in mind, I pre-ordered this. I bought this on release date. £40 is a little bit expensive. But you know what? For the first ever commercially available female Sabutio set, I think this is all right, you know. I think this is all right. You know what? I was just boxing this up before I go do me one final fall. Look at the, look at the goal base. It's the back of the goal. Look how bent it is. That's not very good. I hope, let's hope it sorts itself out when you plug a goal in. Because if that's the case, that's not very good at all. Will it do it? It's lightweight plastic. Mm, that's not very good. Is it? Look. Mm, the goals continue to be the letdown. They really, really do. So, £40. Pounds. How do I review this? Do I review this based on price or what it is? Oh, you know what? Overall, I like it. The purists will hate it. But one thing I will say, purists, purist Sputio fans, give the pitch a chance. Give Peace a chance. But give the pitch a chance because this pitch is good. The new pitches are really, really good. The goals, turn it. They're absolutely awful. They're an embarrassment to Sputio. Anyone buying the game now who's just getting into it will look at it and be like, what are these? The real selling point with this is the figures. Yes, it's the first commercially available female figure. Yes, it's a women lionesses kit. Yes, it's a women lionesses set. Yes, it's broken down barriers. Yes, it's cool. There'll be people in the comments and our oh, women's football is. You know what? If you are saying anything like that, do I? I don't even want you watching my videos. It's a breakdown set. It's the first ever set of its kind, and for that, it's cool. The players, the figures. Look, good. Yes, they're still a bit cartoony. They're less cartoony than the men's version and the men's figures that have been coming out recently. They're a little bit stocky as well with appearance. But the haircuts, the facial expressions, the body shape, generally, it's there. And the kit is perfect. The kit's proper. For that, I like it. I like it as a set, officially endorsed. My only drawbacks the goals, don't forget the manual as well, the manual, massive schoolboy era and having blokes on it and not women. The goals, the instructions, the £40 price tag is something that will stop people wanting to buy it when they want to get into the game. I don't know what production costs are. I have no idea how much the markup is. If it can be cheaper, then make it cheaper because that will get more people into the game, especially girls. Girls are proper into their football. Tomorrow. I've got loads of friends who have got little girls and they're taking them to football. Honestly, times are changing. I think girls could be the future of Sabutio. You never know. There might be, especially with more girls coming into the game. Boys who want to play FIFA. Girls might not like computer games. They might like to get their hands on this and do something a bit more social. So if we can get that price down a little bit, yeah, that will improve it. But generally, as the first commercially available female set, I think it's all right. I'd give it a go. Definitely not the worst new set I've ever seen. It just needs a few minor tweaks, doesn't it, really? Not bad. I don't know. Seven out of ten, shall we say? So that's your first set of the first women's Sabutio set. I strongly suggest you go out and buy one because the more Sabutio we buy, the more we'll get. But also, then put your opinion on. Don't just tell me. Please do tell me down in the comments on social media what you think of it. But also, spread your comments all over the internet. Sabutio groups, that sort of thing. Because hopefully, Hashbro, Longshore, whoever's doing it, UK Games, they'll listen. And if they listen, they'll eventually get the product right. 